Hey guys, welcome to this new tutorial in Maya. Uh, we're going to be doing a um, specific workflow to just achieve um, a wire mesh. Uh, I'm going to show you probably what that means uh, as, as we get to the end of the video. Um, so we're going to be doing a simple mesh um, to start with. Like We're going to be working with a cylinder, right? Um, and what we're going to try to do is extract this kind of um, edges here and and run a series of operations to actually end up with a, a wire mesh that is just uh, in, in one direction not both directions and how to convert those geometries uh, into something that you could actually render or 3D print right so let's jump into it so what we're going to do here is first change the subdivisions of the cube maybe 20 in this direction oh maybe 10 it seems too much right and um, here the edges, I'm going to select these two edges here up and down and I can go here to select, convert selection to faces and I can delete those faces, right? So if I go again into edges um, we have these two edges and we're going to be working with this cylinder like this um, we could turn soft selection now so I'm just going to do uh, some deformations here uh, in order to 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 show this process creating something a bit more interesting than than maybe um, just a cylinder, right? Um, so what I'm doing here is just using soft selection to to create some sort of outline of of the shape that I want to work with, and I'm just going to create something like a like a vase, something a bit weird. Um, so I'm going to play with the just rotating a few places here something that would show the features of the tool that we're going to be looking at um, so let's give a bit of maybe thickness here maybe this area here could also use a bit of So let's see how it works with this and then we can just modify it, right? So we have something just like a, a generic shape, uh, like so. And what I'm going to try to do is extract a series of curves uh, that define, so we can look at this guy in smooth mode, pressing 3. And uh, what I want to do is just pick all these, now we can turn off select, uh, soft selection. So all these edges in one on direction only and convert them to curves, right? So, um, so if we go here to select, we can um, go to select contiguous edges, right? And and we could select that, right? But uh, what I want to do is just do it for all the curves. So it doesn't really. I mean, I would have to select all of them. But the easy way through it is just go to select, select edge ring and I select double click on the ring and I can select that right so I, I end up having a, a ring to all of these guys now I can go to select contiguous edges and I have all the curves right um, the problem with that is that if we have those curves um, you see well here actually it's not doing it properly so let's do it again select contiguous edges there seem to be some here that are not working there we go so what we're trying to do is do that pick those lines and convert, convert them to curves so there's a cool command here um, in modify convert um, so where is this polygon edge to curve, right? So we can look into the properties of that and there's different options, best guess, uh, cubic and so on. We're gonna say just linear, just to have like straight segments and if we say apply, you'll see that we're just doing that for one of them. So as the, although I, we have several curves selected, it's just doing that, uh, so I can just pick that curve and move it here. I can press three, no it doesn't um work like that so we have one curve but we don't have all of them so that's a bit annoying right um so what we're gonna do is just uh, run a script 
uh, in Maya that's going to allow us to do this operation like for all of them. So if you go into the internet, and this is a script that I found online, um, and you just google for Maya Edge to curve multiple script, um, you're going to have a few options, right, and go into this one, the second one, so multiple poly edge to curve and download the script. Um, you probably have to register to create a crash here. So um, once you have the mail script, right, um, that you just downloaded, um, we will go back into Maya and we're gonna open, you probably cannot see it here, but uh, you're gonna have to open the script editor that's all the way down to, let's see if I can just show you that. There we go. Right, so the script editor is down here, right? So you see that uh, in my case I have the script already loaded, but if you don't you could just go to file load script and load the script that you, um, that basically you just downloaded from the internet, right? So to run the script we're going to select everything by saying control A and control enter it's gonna run the script and we're gonna have this um, this uh, dialog box right which is similar to the one that we had with the curves right like open periodic best guess and degree right so here we can go into edge sorry edge and uh, select one of them and let's say let's just try it right so we're gonna say create curve and it just did what we told it, right? So it created this curve here, but it did automatically the selection of the contigu contiguous uh, edges, right? So that's pretty neat. So now what we need to do is go to edge, right? Just one of them. You don't have to pick the whole thing because you're going to start repeating the operation. If you have like several edges together you're going to end up with duplicates, right? So uh, what we're going to go here is um, selection. We're going to go to select edge ring tool and we're going to double click on one of them. So we're going to end up with a bunch of these guys here and we're going to go back to edge mode. So we have them there and I'm going to say uh, degree one say create and that's it right so you can see now that our geometry and um, if we go into the outliner we have created all these curves right and we actually ended up with an extra one here uh, maybe we don't want that one right so I'm trying to kind of create this kind of wireframe of this it still look faceted and uh, you know a bit polygonal so what we're gonna do here is just uh, increase the resolution of our um, of our geometry by going to modify convert smooth mesh preview to polygons and we're gonna just increase the resolution of that right so again if we go into edge um, select edge ring double click so we have one row and again I'm gonna keep it um, um, in degree one, and there we go. So we can actually move these guys here. So that's working pretty well. That's a way of extracting like a series of lines, and then you see that we have a very simple shape, but we're having a really nice effect here. The second item that we want to just address really is how to convert these uh, curves into um, into geometry, right, and how to pipe them in, in Maya. So what we're gonna do here is just um, try to work with a paint effect. So I need to probably go into uh, rendering paint effects, right? So let's try one of them first and see if that works, right? So into paint effects um, there's an option to say curve utilities uh, or sorry um, where is this? Attach brush to curve, right? So curve utilities attach brush to curve. So let's click that and see what happens. And you see that we get 
quickly like a polygon way too big um, but it's just some sort of uh, polygon uh, with some profile actually associated to it um, I'm gonna delete that guy because okay it's doing it but it's not doing it the way I want it so let's do it again but this time we're gonna just um, we're gonna go into there's an option oh template brush settings here so we can see that the global scale oh, here the mesh tube sections we could say Let's, let's keep it in six sub-segments, cap ends, and the scale we could say 0 0.2, right? So let's leave that open for, an, for a second and then go into curve and attach brush to curve. And you see that now we create a much smaller profile. And I can undo that and then say, well, that's still too big. And maybe sections I want it to be four, like a square profile and repeated operation curve utilities attach brush to curve and you see that we have a way of just um, creating the square profile for one of my curves right so what I'm gonna do here is actually set something like 8 and I'm still gonna do it a bit thinner than that so 0 7 5 maybe and this time I'm gonna just select all of them right so I'm going to go here, paint effects again, attach curves, and we got that, which is a very thin, now that I look at it, it just seems like way too thin maybe. So if we repeat this operation, maybe it's just, let's try two. And that looks a bit better, I guess. Like a nice kind of wire effect they kind of they do collide or they end up intersecting in this edge here but they look pretty nice actually you could even try thicker um, and that looks much nicer actually so you see we ended up with this paint effect but this is still not a geometry I mean it is but it's not in the, in the sense that we can actually work with it so there's one final operation that we need to do uh, let's open the outliner again and you see that now we have the lines there behind and now we have the strokes that are kind of our paint effects so these guys now we can close this these guys um, we want to convert them into mesh right so we're gonna go to modify convert and there should be something like um, paint effects to polygons and there we go So you see I have like in this case my edges selected but if we maybe select them and apply a new material we can see them better. So that's it. Um, that's kind of the workflow to actually uh, go from one piece of geometry creating the curves and then creating this series of edges, um, I mean you can do them in both directions if you want but um, there's a few very interesting nice designs out there um, that are working similar, uh, they're working with this technique to just create really nice fibrous kind of um, geometries and not just let's say especially if you 3d print or something like that you don't end up with just kind of a blob mesh like this one but you end up with something kind of that looks um, that in a way it talks more about the, the curvature and and the detail so I think that it's a, it's a very nice technique um, so I hope that you liked it I'll see you guys soon